Democrats just approved a plan to create an Office of Immigrant Affairs. This comes after they visited the Mexican border last week. KXAN's Phil Prazen was among the among those uh, city council members at the border, and he joins us live from Austin City Hall with new details. Well, Robert, according to city documents, there are about 57,000 people living in the city of Austin that are eligible for citizenship but are not there yet. In part, this office would help get them citizenship status, and so right now the city manager is going to go out, see what other cities are doing, and then bring those ideas to Austin. Jorge Lopez was held in a detention facility in Texas after he came here illegally from Honduras. Now he has a work permit, but says it would have been easier if he had understood the process earlier. He says an office of immigrant affairs would be good for other immigrants who've lived here for years and helped build the city. He says it's good for the city to show they support them. And after the majority of council toured the now infamous tent city in Tornillo, Councilwoman Delia Garza says they wanted to do more at home. Immigrant families here to be able to have a place to go where they feel safe. Andy Hoag, spokesperson for the Travis County Republican Party, says if used properly, in his view, the office would be a positive and a way to get immigrants legal jobs. You don't need you know, entitlement funding, you don't need social services. He's, these are how you get the good jobs. These are where you get the training. Let's go get you the good jobs. But he says it would be a waste of money if the office would encourage illegal immigration or allow people to stay undocumented. Those are issues that really need to be addressed in this um, citizenship um, clinic. Well, Andy also said that if this office was going to be used to fight against President Trump or the state of Texas policies, they would be against it. But city council members told me after President Trump's family separation policy controversy, they hope this office is used to help keep families together. Live at City Hall, Phil Prazen, KXAN News. City of Dallas has a similar program. It's called the Office of Welcoming Communities and Immigrant Affairs. It is designed to connect people with public safety, libraries, and recreation. They also hold workshops to help people become U.S. citizens. And they work with the city's economic development department to look for opportunities for investors from outside the U.S.